as normal brioche contains butter, a real butter enriched dough. We're going to be replacing that today uh, with some olive oil. It's got to be a really good quality extra virgin olive oil for that. Um, and then also because it's going to be a vegan uh, brioche, we can't add the eggs. So instead of eggs, we're going to be using the aquafaba again. So the chickpeas, the water off the chickpeas, and that's what we're going to be using. Use the chickpeas in another recipe. It's over there. To start with, we get the dried yeast. And we're warm, a little bit of, uh, I'm using almond milk. Again, no uh, dairy product. Warm about a third uh, of that uh, almond milk up. Now that's incorporated in there. Nice little bubble to it. Leave that, leave that to uh, about five minutes, we'll leave that for. In a large bowl, we add 125 grams of plain flour. The aquafaba, the chickpea water, that goes into that. Mix that into a nice paste. We add two tablespoons of caster sugar going in there as well. Good mix. Add that yeast into that now. Give that a good mix as well. It's a nice smooth consistency now. We we'll start adding 225 grams of bread flour into that. I should start a bit more like a dough consistency. Start getting the hands involved. Press that almond milk into that. Come together nicely now. We're kneading that dough a good five minutes now. Start to come together really good. It is quite dry. We need to incorporate all that olive oil into there. So we've got three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil we need to be going into this dough. So we flatten it out. A spoonful into that. And incorporate that. Seems to be quite a lot of oil, but it will take all of that oil. That dough has now taken all that oil. A bit dubious to start with, it was getting very wet, but uh, the more you work with it, release the gluten from those flowers, absorbs it very nicely. We want to be putting that into a slightly oiled bowl to prove. Damp cloth over the top. Secure mine with a little bit of string. We leave that to prove. 90 minutes. It's doubled in size. It's been an hour and a half proving. Take that off. It's doubled up nice in size. Really nice and light. Just need to knock that back. A really nice dough now. We now have to put that on a slow proof in the fridge for four hours. In there, can fill this one up. In the 
fridge. The dough's had its second proof now. I've knocked it back and just shaped it into my uh, oiled oil tin. Uh, and then just to glaze that, get a little bit of the almond milk, brush that over the top. And leave that to prove for about another 90 minutes, just on the side, until it balloons up on top. Proving that nicely now into that pan. Really nice and light. Uh, we want to be baking that 190 degrees, 30 minutes. 30 minutes in the oven and we're left with this bad boy here. 